What's up, turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Recently, I put a photo up on our Instagram page that got a lot of response and a lot of likes. And it was a picture of my customized, modified SE4 knife setup that I did. So I thought it would be kind of cool to do a video specifically on all the modifications that I've done to the knife. Here it is in its total package form factory uh, sheath with some leather modifications but I want to pop the knife out now and talk about the sheath mods that I have done so this is the factory sheath the plastic or I don't I still don't know if it's kydex I don't think it is I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong but what I really didn't like about using the factory sheath setup uh, and especially designed for a tech lock which these are is that the knife rides really high on the hip so what I did is created this leather back plate, which drops the knife much lower and more comfortable while it's being worn on the belt. This is, uh, I think, six to seven ounce veg tan leather that I dyed. And it almost looks black, but actually this is a dark brown dye that I just went, <laughs> went hard on to get the, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> that I put a lot of dye on it to give it a really dark color that almost looks black. And you can see Chicago screws are holding it to the sheath. And these are just the nickel plated Chicago screws I had. Ideally, I would have liked all black ones. So if you have a good source for Chicago screws or any other screw and posts, uh, please let me know, leave a comment, link me to something because I'm always looking for, uh, for new and or better hardware. I also decided to add this leather strip to hold a ferro rod on the sheath because I think it just makes uh, a knife package better to have a ferro rod attached to it. Whether you want to use this every time you start a fire or not, because I carry model ferro rods, I still think it's nice to be able to just grab, <clears throat> excuse me, just to grab a knife with a ferro rod on it, and you already have almost the start of a little survival kit. So you could remove this if you want. All of this can be taken apart. I just have a snap on there. And you can see the tension on that, because I sort of wet formed this as it was drying with the dye. So it actually, you know, it's still holding pretty tight, even unbuttoned. So even if this did, potentially come unsnapped, you're walking through the woods, catch on something, that this still really isn't in jeopardy of coming off. And you can see then right here, I used basically just some leather spacers that the ferro rod strap, if you will, rides in between the back plate and the sheath. And these spacers give room for that and it also kicks the back plate off of the sheath a little bit to have it sit and ride just a little bit cleaner. And I'm super happy with how this turned out. That's pretty much all I want to talk about the sheath right now, setup wise. I am going to grab the knife now and talk about those mods. So this is the SE4 knife. It was completely coated. You can see I left the coating, the SE4 on there. I left the coating underneath the handle scales. Because it's a high carbon blade, I figure why take the complete protection off of the, the full tang knife when I really only want it off of the blade. So I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good compromise with this. And on the spine, it was ground down a little bit. Maybe I should take it to the tip, but just uh, squared the spine off. Actually, Stoney might have done this. One night we were just going a little haywire and put 90 degree spines on every knife we could find. <laughs> uh, but this way, you know, I already have something to strike my ferro rod with. Processed bark, you know, a sharp spine has a lot of different uses, almost like a second cutting edge. And the last mod I did, I purchased. I did not make scales, I purchased these scales. And there's much more of a swell right here because the factory scales with the SE4 and a lot of the SEs, they're really flat and squared off. And they're not bad, but having this swell just completely makes this knife so much better in my mind. Just have more, I don't know, more. It's just comfortable and you have just a little bit better grip uh, when you're using, using the knife. Orange liners blackout colors. This is a uh, micarta and I purchased these from LMF knives and still fits in the factory sheath. That's kind of cool and was important. Let's put it all back together and I really I really really like how this turned out. It really changed I guess how I view the knife that it's just so much better to carry now with these leather additions and these scales. So I had some people contact me about 
hey, Crick, do you sell those leather additions to the sheath? And I can do that. I'm not sure exactly if the stock sheath is the exact same tolerance wise with these holes lining up. So if someone is interested in purchasing these leather additions, I might just have you or them send just the sheath so I can make sure it is uh, specific and all the tolerances are tolerable. So if you're interested in uh, purchasing these, you can send me a message, leave a comment, something like that. But just very, very happy with how this all came together. Best of both worlds in my mind with the leather and the plastic, you got the retention and then you just have the natural material of the leather. I just kind of like how they, uh, how they work in concert together. So there you have it. There's all the modifications I've done and purchased for the SE4 now. So let me know what you think. Uh, I really like how it kind of turned out being our black owl colors with the orange and black. I think that's kind of cool. If you like the video, you like the mods I did, you like how my leather is progressing, give us a thumbs up. That really helps us in our YouTube standings and it will help our growth. All it takes is you to give us you know, a thumbs up. It really does go pretty far for us. Till the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl. Later, turtles.